In this video, we're going to be enjoying some absolutely delicious Togolese food right here in Keta. Oh my god, where have you been all my life, Togo food? Chef Moses and Annie Veronica are a couple who run this small restaurant slash chop bar right here in Keta. They both are from Togo as well as Ghana and have been living in Ghana for a little while. They're going to take us through the process of how they run their restaurant, the foods they serve, and of course we're going to get to try some of the food as well. <laughs> collaboration with Lemonade Finance, a mobile app that allows you to send money to Ghana, Kenya and Nigeria from the UK and from Canada for free. Basically there's zero fees when you send money using this Lemonade Finance app. Lemonade Finance also has the best rates, which means you're guaranteed complete value for your money. If you're not in Canada or in the UK, don't worry, they are planning on launching in Europe and in the US in the next few months. And once that happens, I'll be the first to share with you guys. I have used Lemonade Finance and it works really well. It's super fast, it's completely free as they said. You can download the app using the referral link in my description box below. Or if you download the app using the app store, you can use my referral code, which is Jasmine Ama. All of that information will be in the description box below. Go on and check them out. I, I work for I work for Aborigin. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Because Aborigin, no, the salary is no good for me. It's why I'm making that one to help me. Oh, more, more. Oh, hey, if okay. that place they move well, then you would have I just done that hey. one. Ah, okay. So, okay. My job, uh, I do. I'm a general chef. Hey, it's okay. like I do pastry. Okay. And uh, a ice cream. Okay. And uh, kitchen. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. African and uh, continental. Continental. Mm -hmm. So where did you learn to be a chef? It's here, a three, three white people. They show me. Okay. The work. Okay. And one they show me the, the ice cream. Uh, uh -huh. It's uh, for England. Okay. It's John. Okay. The one who showed me pizza is a. Uh, Fabio. Okay. For Italian. Okay. The one they showed me kitchen is a ballet. So oh, France okay. people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I become straight from China. Two okay. years from China to start for Ghana. Oh okay. Now here they like some Ademen. Okay. Mm, and uh from them okro mm. tilapia, less soup or Doctor fish, okay. Less soup. Yeah. It depends. If you see tilapia, mm -hmm. you do. Okay. If you doctor fish, you do. Mm -hmm. Whatever's available. Yeah. It's the amount you need. Togo style, and I say Togo style okro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Your tires, you and I soup, no white soup, no. Togo dien. Oh, okay. What's here? In the time when I'm a customer, it's back to back. 10 11 going. Oh, okay. Ah, where are you? Oh, okay. Into where you're not Ghana style, I be. And I wish we had to go recipe now. Oh, I say, okay. Where you buy carbonate soda? Ah, okay. Where you my money? Oh, okay. Moye Ademe, Nkrumah, Lai Su, Ena Aben Kwai, Enu Yeria. Enu Yeria. Yeria, Enu Yeria, so my Kenke. Kenke, salad. Salad. And I pay it, you bet me a fro rice, so. Oh. And I do not have me a plain rice and a Kenke and a salad. Wow. And I don't know who the pen is. And I don't know who the pen is. No, I'm quite okay. Uh, no, they no. have a family sister. Oh, okay. And then we are playing. Hey, and then we are doing a power. And then they are better for you and Katie. Okay. And then they are better for you and Katie. See, the most popular one is Akleni Ademeno. And I know they are most popular. Okay. And we are there. Mm hmm. 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 Mm hmm.
very different to what I've seen, yeah. So what's it you? To where do you know? Ah, I mean, oh wow, oh okay. Yeah, to say, yeah, no vegetable. Yeah, that's a vegetable soup, Lisa. All right, you guys, so we're still in the process of cooking. As you can see, the okra they make here is very different to how we make it. This is more like a healthy sauce. It's still a little bit crunchy and it's there's no oil added or anything. And the flavor is mostly from the morning, uh, which is salted fermented fish. And apparently they call it la, la Puen here and in Togo and out here as well. And apparently that's not a plan the lady is making, it's what they make. So that has a little bit of cassava flour in there as well. So that's the difference between what they make and a plan. Because a plan is just one flour, there's no cassava flour in there. So yes guys, we're still in the process of cooking. I can't wait to try all this good food on camera for you guys to see. The fish size say, what about the same? Where a density? Density, oh, okay. Where a redfish? Uh, yeah. Where a redfish, uh, oh, okay. Where a fresh I am one. And uh, you're uh, frozen, you know. And you're frozen, yeah, no, okay. Uh. See, mostly fish, now we used to work with the animal baby. Mm, I had a moon pen, I'm a moon pen, I'm a baby. Okay. Mm. Where are they now? Less? Start off like a sauce, so it starts off with oil, then they fry off the onions and then um, the pepper, the tomatoes, like, and then they add water to that. So it's a very, very different process. I'm so fascinated by the Togolese way of cooking, and I'm so excited to be able to observe. And you know, I'm gonna get to try it as well right here with Ghana. So give me a thumbs up, guys, if you're enjoying this so far, and let me know if you've had any Togolese food before. If so, what kind have you had? Yeah, yeah, no, sir. No, yeah, the best thing, the best thing, I'm coming. Obino, I'm telling you. Until, okay, no, but we, 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 from what I've seen so far, Togolese cooking is much, much simpler and very, very quick. Like literally, the soup started maybe 10 minutes ago and once she puts the fish in, it's basically done because the fish cooks within like 5-3 minutes. And if, you know, when you're cooking and you're like, you need at least an hour. So their method is definitely much, much simpler. Same for the okra um, soup that she made as well. So, so great. Bye, bye, bye. 
बात ये नहीं आ रही Oh, Mamma, Okay. 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 So out here in Ghana, generally when we're making soups and shoes and stuff like that, especially soups, we tend to mix meat. So generally, I mean, you won't have chicken and beef but in, for, in, in my done, household, yeah. but you would have beef, fish, um, cow skin, things like that, all in the same soup. And actually, like Veronica was just telling me that in Togo, they don't cook like that. They use just one type yeah. of meat it for soup. Yeah. So it's either all but fish or all, yeah, goat yeah. or all cow yeah, or chicken. <laughs> Two small cups. Two small cups. Yeah. That was oregano. Oregano, wow. Okay. We use fresh tomatoes now. I'm going to be on there. I hear the beauty say, I hear the honey. I bet it's a new one now. I hear the honey. Okay. I'm going to be on there. I'm going to be on Togo version of light soup. This is the jollof rice. This is 
wadime, which is like a plain but has cassava dough in it. This is the palm nut soup, and this is the okra soup with fish. Okay, so it's time to try it. So we're finally ready to try the food. I'm so excited. I can't wait to dig in. Let's see, what shall we try this? Let's try the okra first, because that's what she made first. I'm gonna take a bit of the wadame and then try it. So texture wise, the wadame is similar to bamboo, like it's just a soft, uh, the color looks a little bit whiter than bamboo. Bamboo generally has a little bit of a darker color. So let's go and get some okra. It has a good amount of draw. Remember the only spice in the okra is, there's no spice, it's just um, fermented fish, so. Oh my god. Oh, that okra is so good. Mm. You guys notice how simple the recipe was, right? She literally didn't do anything fancy and the, the okra is like still a little bit um, crunchy. Like all the veggies in here are still crunchy. Very, very good. Let's try the palm soup as well. Oh my god, where have you been all my life, Togo food? What the hell? The dishes are so simple, but wow. I don't even know how to explain it. Like it's super subtle. Like it's not too, it doesn't have a strong taste, so it's easy to eat. It's quick to cook, it's delicious. Wow, the palm nut soup is really good. I'm so blown away. It's time to try the light soup. I'm excited to try the light soup because the light soup is probably the most different um, way of making food in comparison to how Ghanaians make light soup. So I'm keen to try that. I'm lost for words, guys. It's the perfect amount of spice, the perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of everything. Like, oh, jeez. I need to move to Togo, man. This is so good. So it's time to try our uh, jollof rice. The jollof is also very different. They cook it with soy sauce, lots of it. We don't add that much soy sauce. We don't even add soy sauce to jollof in Ghana, so I'm curious. Okay, the jollof definitely tastes different to Ghanaian jollof. It's not as tomato-y. I think I prefer Ghanaian jollof to Togoli jollof, definitely. But this is nice, like it still has the umami, spicy, salty. It's cool, like, but it's not my favorite thing I've tried to eat. With regards to the taste of the watermelon, the watermelon has, like it's not sour like bamboo. It, it doesn't really taste like anything. This tastes like corn, really. I really, really enjoyed this food. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow your bliss. My life is short. Follow your bliss. And type it. Follow your bliss. And you this is the argument. Follow your bliss. But then you have that. See you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome for Tukachacha and Tujesi.